Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Sa video lesson na ito ay itutuloy natin ang learning task number 3, number 4, at number 5, Addition and Subtraction of Rational Algebraic Expression. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung number 1 hanggang number 3, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist. Okay, so dito sa number 4, 7 over 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 minus 5 over 2x squared minus 11x plus 5. Dito naman, subtraction tayo. So, magkaiba sila ng denominator, meaning to say, kailangan natin kunin yung LCD. Kunin muna natin yung factors ng 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Pwede ninyong gamitin yung tinuro kong AC method, pero pwede rin namang trial and error method. Basta kabisado nyo na ha. So, since positive yung nasa middle term at negative ito, ibig sabihin positive at negative yung factors. Tingnan natin, ano yung factors ni negative 3? Itry natin kapag 3 dito at 1 dito. So, negative 3x plus 2x equals negative x. So, hindi pwede yung negative 3 at positive 1. Itry naman natin yung negative 1 dito at positive 3. Dapat ang maproproduce natin na middle term ay 5x. So, negative 1x tapos 2x times positive 3 equals positive 6. 6 minus 1 equals positive 5x. So, this is now the factor of this polynomial. Next, dito naman, ano naman ang factors nito? Negative dito sa middle term at positive dito sa last term. Meaning to say, parehong negative yung ating factors. So, itry natin yung 5 at saka 1 naman dito. Negative 5x minus 2x equals negative 7x. So, hindi pwede yung ganyan. Itry natin balik ta rin. Dito naman yung 1 at dito yung 5. So, that is negative... 10x tapos plus negative 1 times x equals negative 1x and then add negative 10x minus 1x equals negative 11x so yan na yung factor natin ngayon para makuha yung LCD pagsamahin natin yung magkapareho so magkapareho yung 2x minus 1 so pag isahin na lang natin and then x plus 3 and then x minus 5 so, ganyan kahaba yung LCD natin. Ngayon, i -re write natin ito para magets ninyo. i -re write natin yung nasa denominator. ba ang factors nito ay 2x minus 1, tapos x plus 3, minus 5, over ang factors naman nito ay 2x minus 1 times x minus 5. Then, simplify. Kagaya lang din ng pag-subtract ng fraction. So, kopyahin natin yung LCD. Unahin natin ito. LCD divided by 2x minus 1, x plus 3, syempre matatanggal na yan, ang matitira na lang is x minus 5. Then, i-multiply natin sa 7. 7 times x minus 5. Alright? Minus, dito naman sa kabila, so gamitin naman natin yung blue, matatanggal yung 2x minus 1, matatanggal yung x minus 5, ang natira is yung x plus 3. So, that is 5 times x plus 3. So, lagyan natin ng parenthesis. Then, simplify natin. 7 times x equals 7x. And then, 7 times negative 5 equals negative 35. Negative 5 times x equals negative 5x. Negative 5 times positive 3 equals negative 15. Nasundan ninyo. Kung hindi nyo masundan, pwede nyo ulit-ulitin hanggang sa masundan ninyo. Pagsamahin natin yung mga magkakapareho. 7x minus 5x equals positive 2x. 
negative 35 minus 15, magkapareho sila ng sign kaya add. 35 plus 15 equals 50, then copy the sign negative. So, our final answer is 2x minus 50 over the quantity of 2x minus 1 times the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 5. Or, pwede nyo namang i-factor yung nasa numerator. Ilabas natin yung 2, ang matitira na lang is x minus 25 all over 2x minus 1 times the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 5. So, pwedeng ito or pwede rin ito. Okay? Lastly, we have 3x over x squared plus 5x plus 6 plus x minus 2 over x squared plus 2x minus 3. Kaya lang din ang ginawa natin sa number 4, kunin muna natin yung factors ng mga denominator. So, ang factor ng x squared plus 5x plus 6 ay ano? Pareho silang positive, ibig sabihin positive at positive. Ano ang factors ni 6 na kapag in natin magiging 5x? That is, positive 3 and positive 2. Next, ano naman ang factors ni x squared plus 2x minus 3? So, positive at negative yan, kaya positive at negative. Ano yung factors ni negative 3 na kapag in natin magiging positive 2? Positive 3 at negative 1. Meaning to say, ang LCD natin, pagsamahin natin yung x plus 3, then x plus 2, then x minus 1. Then, i-transform muna natin yung denominator nito. So, that is 3x over, ang factors nito ay x plus 3 times x plus 2, plus ito. Then, x minus 2 over, ang factors naman nito ay x plus 3 times x minus 1. Then, isolve natin. Ilagay natin dito yung LCD Then, i-divide natin sa denominator So, x plus 3 makakancel divided by x plus 2 Ang natira ay x minus 1 I-multiply natin sa 3x So, 3x dyan And then, ang natira ay x minus 1 Plus Dito naman, ang makakancel is yung x plus 3 at yung x minus 1 Ang matitira naman ay x plus 2. So, kopyahin natin yung numerator, x minus 2, times x plus 2. Next, simplify 3x times x equals 3x squared. 3x times negative 1 equals negative 3x. And then, i-add natin ito. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ito ay sum and difference of 2 squares. So, ibig sabihin, ang factor niyan ay x squared minus 4. Kasi yung pattern natin, x times x equals x squared, then negative 2 times positive 2 equals negative 4. Combine like terms, that is 3x squared plus x squared equals 4x squared minus 3x minus 4. Since hindi na ito pwedeng i-factor, ito na yung final answer. 4x squared minus 3x minus 4 all over the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x minus 1. Okay, sana nakatulong ito sa inyo at kung nakatulong man ito sa inyo, please mag-comment kayo at ilike nyo na rin ang video na to. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aaral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!